What's up everybody? It's me, Zombie, and today I am going to be working on my Junkrat cosplay. Specifically, I'm going to be working on my Riptire today. I'm starting off with three pieces of EVA. I use the entire length of the foam and I originally cut them to about 10 inches wide. After sanding the edges, I stuck them all together to get the basic shape of my Riptire. After sticking them all together, I decided that this was a little bit too big, so I scaled it down quite a bit. My rip tire only ended up being about six and a half to seven inches wide. Then I cut two symmetrical pieces that kind of look like cogs and stuck them to either side. I used contact cement to stick down all the edges to the foam. After attaching the side, I cut out some tread pieces and attached them to each segment. While waiting on that to dry, I started to apply silver to all of my orange armor pieces that I made. Here I'm just going in with some silver spray paint and a thicker brush. Not only am I adding silver to the parts that are supposed to be silver, I'm adding some weathered spots where the paint is chipped off and now the metal is exposed. Today I'm just using silver spray paint and spraying it into a cup and then using my paintbrush to paint it all over. For adding silver details to smaller pieces like this glove, I'm going to be using a smaller brush. After my rip tire was dry for the most part, I went in with some super glue and reinforced all the edges. I also used my knife to fix some of the edges. Some details on the inside of the rip tire are actually exposed from the outside. To finish those details, I cut out two foam circles and used smaller bits of foam to add my details. I'm using a combination of super glue and contact cement on different pieces, just depending on their size and convenience for me. I continued to add details to the tire. This time I'm using contact cement since it's a, such a long strip and I need it to stretch and fit exactly how I need it to. Ah, Cricket! The only good bug is a dead bug. Cricket crisis avoided. After all of my details are glued in place on the tire, I went ahead and put the cap on. The cap is just a circle with one quarter cut out of it and then I put foam on the side as a riser. After that's all cemented in, then ta-da! There's my basic shape of my rip tire with all the details attached. Next up are the rip tire's signature spikes. Using a piece of paper and a pen, I made a pattern of a cone. I transferred that pattern onto some foam, glued it, and then use some hot glue on the inside to reinforce the foam, since the foam itself is so thin. I hot glued around the bottom of every spike and stuck it onto a piece of much thicker foam. I cut every spike out and then transferred it to a tread on the tire. And there we go! We finished our basic construction of the rip tire. The chain needs to be painted, so it'll be added on later after everything's plasti dipped. Before Plasti dipping, I used my heat tool with the flat screw head attachment and applied some details onto the top and onto the side where all those little holes are. And after that, I went ahead and started Plasti dipping. Ideally, I would have been much happier with a black Plasti dip given the tire itself is black, but all I had is white, so it'll be just fine. I'll just add another coat of spray paint after it dries. While the rip tire was drying, I decided it'd be a good time to go ahead and start weathering all of my armor bits. For weathering, I use acrylic paint, brushes, paper towels, and water, and occasionally a sponge. If you'd like to see a more detailed weathering tutorial, I'll link mine right down below. As you can see here, I'm just using my fingers, but you can also use a paper towel so it's a little bit less messy. The nice thing about acrylic paint for me is that you can remove and add as much as you want to get the result that you want. Phew! I got a lot done today and I think this is a pretty good way to end my evening. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped you learn something so you can start on your own cosplay adventure. Go ahead and check out my other tutorials if you have questions, but if those don't answer your questions, put one down right below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. Thanks guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!